In July of 2013, ATCO Electric completed one of its largest and most complex transmission projects to date. The $650 million HANA Region Transmission Development or HRTD project was initiated in 2009 when the Alberta Electric System operator identified the need based on estimates that demand would double by 2017, largely driven by oil and gas development in the area. The upgraded transmission system would also support 700 megawatts of wind-generated electricity under development that would need to be connected to the Alberta electrical grid. When building a project of this scale, the company makes every effort to identify a route that will have the least impact to the environment and the lowest cost to the customer. Public consultation is an important part of the planning phase. ATCO Electric ensures that the public is aware of the project, that they understand ATCO Electric's commitment to minimizing its impact, and that they have the opportunity to provide their insights, concerns, and suggestions based on local understanding and knowledge of the land. Where First Nations had identified cultural sites along the route, ATCO Electric worked with the Blood Tribe, Pekani Nation, Samson Cree Nation, and the Sutina Nation to alter the route to ensure we did not disturb these sensitive areas. ATCO Electric mailed out more than 4,500 information packages, conducted 11 open houses, engaged with 24 Aboriginal communities, and had more than 2,300 one-on-one -on -one consultations with landowners. With 60% of the HRTD route to be constructed in environmentally sensitive areas such as protected pasture and native grasses and wetlands, our Environmental Protection Plan outlined environmental measures ATCO Electric had to follow during project construction. In order to reduce soil degradation and soil structure damage and avoid disrupting wildlife, the plan called for a significant percentage of construction to be carried out while the ground was frozen between October and mid-February. ATCO Electric Avian Protection Plan, one of the first of its kind in Canada, was applied extensively to the HRTD project. The program is diverse, from identifying strategy to reduce potential for bird to collide with our transmission and distribution lines, to the installation of artificial nesting platforms and the observance of restricted activity periods. From the case of HRTD, ATCO Electric worked with the government of Alberta, environmentalist and the Ferruginal Hawk expert to build 34 nesting platforms. The platform provides safe nesting location for the birds, a species at risk in Alberta, and has been shown to help increase the species population. In consultation with a leading archaeological firm, ATCO Electric developed a historical and archaeological resources protection plan, providing field personnel with training to identify potential historical and archaeological resources during construction. By actually walking the line on foot, 145 archaeological and historic resources, including fossils, historic buildings, and cultural sites were identified and reported to Alberta Culture, considerably more than the five previously on record. As a result, in 2013, ATCO Electric received two awards, recognizing our efforts to preserve historical resources. Construction began in June of 2012. One of the first steps was to work with ATCO Structures and Logistics to build three work camps to house construction crews working on the project. The camps, built in Hanna, Oyen and Consort, boosted the local economies. ATCO Electric donated the power and utility hookups to the Oyen and Consort communities once the camps were decommissioned. The Hanna Camp is still being used by crews working on the Eastern Alberta Transmission Line project. 
Construction of the HRTD project was completed in July 2013, just 13 months after construction had begun. The Hanna Region Transmission Development Project required 1.8 million man-hours and approximately 2,500 documents, including permits, consent forms, and licenses, nearly 30 million pounds of steel, and 2.5 million bolts to construct 648 double-circuit lattice steel towers and 558 monopole steel towers, string 355 kilometers of 240 and 144 kilovolt transmission lines, build six new substations, and update 14 existing substations. These types of projects are always extremely complex. At every step of the process, we have to carefully consider how our activities will affect the environment, the wildlife, and the people of this area. At the same time, we also had to ensure that Albertans were getting the best value for the dollars that had been entrusted to us to deliver this project. We went to great lengths to bundle all of the steel orders and shop the world. Another example was the tower foundation designs, which were modified and optimized in real time. Both of these point to cost savings for Albertans. Some might see these measures as challenges or obstacles, but they're not. They're a testament to a thorough and conscientious planning process and the integrity of our construction practices. They are what you do when you want to build a project of this scope and size the right way. As a result, Atco Electric was able to deliver this much needed piece of infrastructure to the people of Alberta on schedule and $60 million under budget. <laughs>